Hey folks, this is Benny once again with the 94th Federal Claims Aviation Consultant Group. And Happy New Year to everybody. We're starting off the year here in a very unusual way. Not aviation, but nonetheless historical factor. We're here today in Brooklyn, New York, right a few days after New Year's, and we're at the very edge of the Brooklyn Navy Yard. What I'm going to show you is a collection of homes that was known back then, it still is, as Admiral Row. These are homes that were assigned to many admirals that were here based at the world famous Brooklyn Navy Yard, which was a uh, main base for the U.S. Navy for many, many years. These homes I'm going to show you as we pan through go back to the Civil War. They're very historic. Unfortunately, they're deplorable conditions, but there is rumors of, uh, about a restoration project being done. But I want to give you a look at something that even in modern day New York City, there's a little bit of history here that everybody could enjoy and appreciate. And once again, we're going to tell you a good look at these homes. Um, again, this is uh, what's known as Admiral Row here in Brooklyn Navy Yard. And let's take a look at these homes. Come on. Now, as you can see, uh, we're looking beyond the wrought iron fence. Uh, they are grown with weeds. Actually, this is the best time of the year to view them because in the summer, the vegetation is so dense that it will be un you can't make out the shapes so or where it form. But we're going to get close up here and go through the uh, to the gate here a little bit, and you can see some of the entrances. Now these homes were the quarters of admirals and commodores uh, that supported the fleet here when the Brooklyn Navy Yard was an active naval base. Now, folks, keep in mind there's a lot of rich history coming out of this yard. Uh, the famous uh, Monitor, the first uh, ironclad ship in the Civil War, was actually built right here in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. The famous ship of Destiny, Battleship 36, the famous USS Arizona. The keel was laid and she was launched right out of here from the Brooklyn Navy Yard, um, which, as we all know from history, was what marked the entry of World War II for us in the United States. And ironically enough, the battleship 63, the USS Missouri, which was the ship that the Japanese signed the Declaration of Peace, was also built here in the Navy Yard. And a great amount of other ships. But anyway, we're going to focus on these homes. As you can see, the architecture goes back to Civil War times, sort of a Queen Victorian. Uh, but unfortunately, folks, as you can see, they're not in the greatest shape. There is a movement about here in the city to uh, restore some of these that are still in savable condition. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineering actually has this little part of land. Even though the Brooklyn Navy Yard was turned over to the city of New York a couple of years ago, the Army Corps of Engineers kept this property. And as you can see, this one is completely covered in ivy. But one could only imagine the, the admirals and the commodores that actually helped write naval history that was once quartered here. Uh, we're going to get closer to this structure here. Let's get the camera through the fence here a bit real quick. Just bear with us. And uh, you can see the entrance right there, again covered with ivy. On the side right there, you can see a uh, sunroom. Unfortunately, it must have been, uh, it's all boarded up, but it must have been beautiful back in his days. And uh, as we keep walking on, there's uh, about a total of one, two, three, four, eight standing structures. Uh, a little bit down, we're going to show you, show you one that actually, unfortunately, caved in. Once again, you can see the entrance uh, to this here one. But again, folks, this is rich history that not too many people know about, um, that is always covered up in the weeds, unfortunately, but something that's most enjoyable. Uh, obviously, you could Google all this stuff and get a little more uh, feedback on it, but I just want to share with you a little bit of treasures uh, of history that are here in Brooklyn, New York, or New York City as itself. Um, this one doesn't seem to be in bad shape. The structure is pretty much intact. Um, the, the windows appear to be covered. Uh, this might be one of the candidates for restoration. And as you can see, the wrought iron fence guards the perimeter. And um, like I said, some of these homes go back to the 1800s. Not sure which ones. Now this one right here appeared that it collapsed onto itself. You can see the brick face has been exposed. And if you look real closely through the windows, the floors have collapsed. Um, let's get a closer look on this one. And it's a shame. Hang on one second. Yes, you can see right there everything. This one will be a total loss. And then we'll just scour it down Admiral's Row here. And like I said, folks, the winter is the best time to view these structures. Uh, the vegetation is low, as you can see. They're very visible. Um, here's another one that unfortunately... Uh, well, this is the remnants of the first one. They're, they're side by side. 
But if you could appreciate the architect that was once uh, home to many great naval leaders here, uh, it's pretty something unique. So there you go, folks. That's Admiral's Row here in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. And um, we're going to take a walk right now just a few blocks away, which we're going to present to you. Another historical fact, known as Fort Greene Park. Um, the unique thing about this is a monument that's uh, in honor to the martyrs of the prison ships of the uh, British Navy. Now keep in mind, folks, New York was the forefront of history for our country here in the United States. Uh, the British actually held this. Uh, George Washington and his makeshift army in the very beginning fought for it here. So we're going to take a few blocks over to Fort Greene Park. We're going to show you the monument to the martyrs of the prison ships from 1783. Uh, these are the folks that endured horrible conditions among ships as the HMS Jersey, the HMS Scorpion, the Stromboli, the Hunter. And these are ships that house U.S. citizens. Uh, they're actually the first monument to the prisoners of war. So let's uh, take a walk over there. Once again, folks, this is Benny with the 94th Aeroclaims Aviation Consultant Group doing something a little bit different here in Brooklyn, New York. Bye-bye.